Muddy Dread Bone Springs! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to MTV Cribs. Hello, everybody. My name is Ben. This is. I'm Rose. This is Nava. You want to say hi to the camera? I guess not. So welcome to the tour of our converted minivan camper. In days where all, in God's considered. Together, the three of us are going on a two month road trip across the United States. We started in Pennsylvania. We're now in Arizona. Winslow, Winslow Arizona. Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. So before we get started with the actual tour, I want to let you guys know a little bit about the van itself. It's a 1988 Dodge Caravan that I got off of Craigslist. It had 140,000 miles on it, and I got it for only $1,600. It already came with a bed installed on the back, so I really didn't have to do much, but I did end up adding a few things along the way. So the van came stocked pretty well, but we added a few modifications. When I say we, I mean Ben added these modifications to make it more livable. One is the exhaust fan up here, which since we're in the Southwest desert, keeps us pretty cool. The other big modification that was added were the two 100 watt solar panels that, again, since we're in the desert, work pretty well for us. Another decoration, as we like to call it, is this gas can that was jammed in the storage area, but it's not fit there anymore, so it's hanging up top. Another modification that was added is the bike rack, which has our two bikes and all the stickers. The van is nicely tatted, mainly due to Ben's taste in stickers. the main living room as we call it. It's a little bit messy, it usually is, because there's just very little room. Um, so the stuff that we do have makes it a little bit crowded. So up at the front we have our water storage. We use a one gallon. We pretty much use this as the faucet just because getting water out of here is a pain. So we just keep re refilling this to do dishes uh, for drinking water or whatever. But we also have this five and a half gallon sturdy, rugged tank. Behind the seat, we also have a few uh, essentials that we usually grab, which is the remote for the fan, Dr. Bronner's soap, and this very tiny, flat, pathetic looking roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Below that, we have a few different pairs of shoes, sandals. Most of them reside in that corner or underneath the seat right there. So this luxurious couch that we have is actually a bench seat. This bench seat does fold down. As you can see, the bed is folded up. So if I just fold that down real quick, you can see our bed. This bed is somewhere between a full and a queen size. I'm not exactly sure. Because <sighs> look at this, right? Chill, pretty comfy. And when we have the back open, we have a nice view. Like, look at that. Usually when we're camping out like this, unless we're sleeping, we have the bed up. Ugh. Behind the bed, we have access to a few different things, such as this lovely L.O. Bean fleece. Rose's underwear. Is this underwear? My cycling underwear that's kind of halfway dirty, so I put it under there so Sounds it doesn't like stink up the car. Um, and then back here, we have some hats. Of course, my Rifle Dead hat, my bucket hat, L.O. Bean fanny pack and my, my favorite hat that Rose doesn't let me wear. All the rest of our clothes are stored underneath the bench seats. They're color coded, so yellow is pants, red is shirts, and they all stuff pretty nicely underneath here. And the great thing about these is they're very portable and they're even waterproof. The next big item in the living room area, this hunky box, which we call the kitchen box. Since we don't have room to put like a kitchen or a kitchenette, we have everything that we need to cook and eat inside of this one box. Next on the list is the electrical system. As you can see, we have some nice LED lights. Everything, like I said, is powered off of the two 100 watt solar panels on the roof. Those go down through the hatch into a charge controller, which goes into our battery. The battery, it's hidden underneath here, but it's a 100 amp hour AGM sealed battery. Besides that, we have a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter. So cameras, laptops, pretty much anything that we might need to charge. We also have this neat little four USB hub to charge any devices that uh, can be charged via USB. Besides that, we also have our little snack pack, which is just full of all the essentials when you're on the road. 
peanut butter stuffed pretzels, pistachios, cliff bars, nature valley bars, and that just slings over the driver's seat. Under here is our one burner butane stove. It's a little bit small, but we make it work. Those run off of these lovely little homies. And then back in the corner is my lovely wide mouth Nalgene glow in the dark water bottle. It's not a water bottle actually, it's a pee bottle. I don't pee in here. Ben pees in here when I look the other way. There's li liquid in here, Ben. There's piss in there. Hello there, stranger. Yep. This is a dope van. You mind showing me like the fr front area? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> this is where we spend all of the time when we're driving, obviously, because this is the front of the car. And it's pretty roomy, not gonna lie. This is the section we've kind of decked out with decorations, knickknacks from friends, fellow travelers, acquaintances, family, you know. Nice cassette player, because they that, didn't have CDs in the That's the in only the way we can play music. <laughs> Handy little ashtray for when we're smoking cigars on the road. And um, a pretty dated driving system. Look at that. Look at the wheel. Even more dated so are these hip crank windows. They're really fun to use when you're driving and trying to steer the wheel and crank your window. Especially when you come up to a toll and it doesn't go down all the way. So you have to drive out of the toll slowly while cranking up the window. It's really fun. It's like a game. <laughs> And then besides that, we have handy little lantern, some fairy lights, Ooh. sunglass department, hair ties, since Ben needs those now. Headlamps, a fan that keeps us cool and breezy. And then here we have our refrigerator, which has all our necessities, you know, tofu, almond milk, all that good stuff. And uh, real quickly, before we run out of light, um, so as for the storage, it's pretty much all underneath the bed platform. We've been spending like the last week and a half kind of rearranging things because we learn what we really don't need and what we need easy access to. But everything is in crates. So this is our food storage. Alongside that is this milk crate, which is full of most of our camping gear, a lantern, hammocks, all that sort of gear. Back on the right side, we have some doggy food. Two camping chairs, toilet paper, bike pump, other stuff. And then the milk crate behind that is um, other storage like maintenance items for the car. So we have some antifreeze, oil, funnel, a whole bunch of boring car things. Tool bag, which I think I've used twice and it's very big and very heavy. But other than that, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. That This is where we keep most of our stuff. Ugh. All right, guys, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the tour of our little minivan. As I said, we're going on a two-month road trip across the country, so stay tuned. I got some more spicy videos on the way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I gotta take a Mondo piss.